good comes from the UFO field for him. This is a reluctant UFO messiah. It changed his life. This week we've heard the contention of UFO researchers that there is a secret government within our government. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs, uh, that are out there of extraterrestrial origin. The live interview with the shadowy Dennis drew international attention. Portions were broadcast by radio in six European countries and in a nationally televised TV special in Japan. Despite numerous inquiries and feelers, Dennis has remained anonymous until now. His real name is Robert Lazar. He says he was hired to work at an area called S4, which is a few miles south of Groom Lake. At S4, he says, are flying saucers, antimatter reactors, and other working examples of technology that is seemingly beyond human capabilities. I did not believe that this should be a security matter. Some of it, sure, but just the concept that there's definite proof we even have articles from another world, another system. You just can't not tell everyone. It was like a Twilight Zone episode. It just kept getting stranger. The fact that that was happening at all was the weirdest part. Look, it's been 30 years, and all of a sudden you raised it to this level? You know, this is a powerful technology, fearsome technology, and you just don't want everyone to have it. It'll become obvious how to make constructive as well as destructive devices from it. It's my only guess as to why they have never released information kind of difficult once you release the technology to be analyzed and give it to everyone. They can just run with it. You really can't keep the weapon potential hidden. You really can't. Look, with ET technology, you can literally rule the world. Well, I am telling the truth. I, I, I've tried to prove that uh, what's going on up there could be the most important event in history. You're talking about Contact, physical, <laughs> physical contact, and proof of, uh, from another another system, another planet, another intelligence. That's got to be the biggest event in history. Period. And it's real. And it's real, and it's there. Area 51, flying saucers from another world, and the program to create a fierce technology. Bob Lazar has lived a wild life. He remains the most singular, most controversial name in UFOs. The reason why you know about Area 51 is basically because of Lazar. He came forward and told you about it. This documentary basically discloses what turned his life upside down as he tried to stay out of the spotlight. Now for this reason, this never before seen documentary is about to be released in 2018. And now Jeremy Corbell will be getting down to the bottom of what Lazar claims through the lens of 30 years providing a rare and never before seen footage guaranteed to basically alter the landscape of the debate. Bob Lazar's feature is a full length documentary and it's gonna be coming out December, 2018. We're gonna be supplying the link to extraordinarybeliefs.com and you could find out more information in regards to this documentary. But right now I wanna get your guys' opinions on Bob Lazar. Do you think he's the real deal? Does he have privy information in regards to anti-gravity? alien reverse engineered technology what really did he learn at area 51 or do you believe he never worked there in the first place bob lazar is a controversial figure absolutely indeed but jeremy corbell is trying to figure out his claims are real and i'm really excited to see this documentary i'm happy to share it to you it's coming in from our friend jim martin and Jeremy Corbell is on top of this documentary. So right now, what's your thoughts? Is Bob Lazar the real deal? Do you think we're gonna learn something from this documentary through these never before revealed footage? As they say, we're gonna be guaranteed to alter the landscape of the debate. Now, things are getting exciting. Let's get to the phone calls and see if anybody has any opinion on Bob Lazar. Let's get to it. All right, we're live and we've got callers. We're gonna to go to Michigan and see what Michigan 
Eric Code 248 has to say in regards to Bob Lazar. Welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing, Blake? Yeah, we're excited. We're uh, sharing the new documentary coming out. There's a trailer that just has been released and we have permission to share it. So in regards to Bob Lazar, apparently after 30 years of being silent in the public eye, he's going to be coming forward in this Jeremy Corbell documentary that's going to be out in, uh, I think, December 2018. I'm wondering, what's your genuine thoughts of Bob Lazar over all these years? And what do you think is his agenda of now coming forward publicly and speaking about this after so many years? Uh, I think he's legit. Um, You know, he's always been consistent with his experience and his story. Um, I don't think he's a sensationalist or limelight seeker. And, um, you know, as far as him coming back, I think, you know, it's a new audience, a new people that are open to him. And we want to hear what he has to say. And I think he's realizing the importance of, you know, his part in all of this. So uh, I think it's wonderful that he's coming back. Yeah, actually, I think you're uh, basically hit it right on the head there is that he did not realize the importance of this and how many people around the world are really wanting to get down to the bottom of it. So I think he's actually quite inspired by the people out there in this general interest of ufology and everything involved around it. And now he's like, hey, look, I'm going to have to start talking about this again. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, I... It's a whole new audience, a whole new generation, you know, and so many people have come forward and and revealed things and their part in it in the military, and um, I think he's safe to come out and talk about things, and and we want to hear it, you know. We I, I think there's a lot of respect for him. Of course, you got your naysayers, but you're always going to have that, you know. We, we just got to talk more about it. Absolutely, for sure, and uh, the technology that he's been privy to through all these years. I'm wondering, hopefully in this documentary, that maybe some of it's going to be revealed for the first time, or if that's uh, maybe something that he's not allowed to do. Appreciate the call-in all the way from Michigan. Now, let's get some more opinions from people in regards to uh, Bob Lazar. We got area code 772. You're live, Third Phase of Moon. What's your thoughts on Bob Lazar? Welcome to the show. Time listener here calling in from the SLA, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. There's so many of these guys that call that claim all this stuff, and um, just I'd like to believe it, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm a naysayer on that. It's a no go. Sure, sure. I, we like both opinions on both sides, obviously. Do you think we're going to learn anything new as far as if there was any uh, information or technology that he was privy to, if he indeed worked at Area 51 that will be revealed in this documentary called Bob Lazar? Um, I'd, l- I'd, like to, I'd like to definitely check out the documentary on it. And um, I think possibly, you know, I think the evidence is out there. Um, but uh, I guess I guess time will tell. So. Yeah, we're going to find out uh, basically before the end of 2018. So we're going to find out exactly what's going on. But ho- what was that, Brent? Like the summit just filled up. I'm getting some news on that. There could be a pressure build up. Okay, okay hold on, guys. We're going to have to, from what Brent just said is, this is kind of interesting. It's happening right here on the Big Island of Hawaii. And the Caldera, the Kilauea uh, Summit, the Mau Mau Summit has collapsed on itself. Is from what Brent is just uh, it's making me aware. He's telling me it's filled up. It's capped. It's plugged. This is unprecedented. The geologist has never seen anything like this ever in, his- in the history of observing this crater. Wow. And some people have been claiming if this thing gets plugged up, that there could be some kind of pressure effect, like basically a a, a catastrophic event, maybe a massive explosion, because once you cap this, the pressure builds up so extreme that it could hit the water table, a massive steam explosion, and uh, things might get really rocky around here. It could be the beginning of something big, or as they're saying that this could maybe be a sign of the ending 
of the eruption, but we'll find out what's going on. But as far as the cold there being filled up, this yeah, is unprecedented. Yeah. So we're gonna have to get on that right away, everybody. Stand by. We're uh, gonna have to prepare if something goes on in the next uh, 48 hours, because I imagine with this being clogged up, there's pressure being built we as we speak right now. Right. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to go. See you guys, everybody. Stay tuned, be safe, Blake Cousins. And leave your thoughts on Bob Lazar, the link is below to get more information. We'll see everybody again next time. Nothing good comes from the UFO field for him. This is a reluctant UFO messiah. It changed his life. This week we've heard the contention of UFO researchers that there is a secret government within our government. Well, there's several, uh, actually nine uh, flying saucers, flying discs, uh, that are out there of extraterrestrial origin. The live interview with the shadowy dentist drew international attention. Portions were broadcast by radio in six European countries and in a nationally televised TV special in Japan. Despite numerous inquiries and feelers, Dennis has remained anonymous until now. His real name is Robert Lazar. He says he was hired to work at an area called S4, which is a few miles south of Groom Lake. At S4, he says, are flying saucers, antimatter reactors, and other working examples of technology that is seemingly beyond human capabilities. I did not believe that this should be a security matter. Some of it, sure. But just the concept that there's definite proof. We even have articles from another world, another system. You just can't not tell everyone. It was like a Twilight Zone episode, it just kept getting stranger. The fact that that was happening at all was the weirdest part. Look, it's been 30 years, and all of a sudden you raised it to this level? You know, this is a powerful technology, fearsome technology, and you just don't want everyone to have it. It'll become obvious how to make constructive as well as destructive devices from it. It's my only guess as to why they have never released information. It's kind of difficult once you release the technology to be analyzed and give it to everyone. They can just run with it. You really can't keep the weapon potential hidden. You really can't. Look, with ET technology, you can literally rule the world. Well, I am telling the truth. I, I, I've tried to prove that. Uh, what's going on up there could be the most important event in history. You're talking about contact, physical, <laughs> physical contact and proof of, uh, from another, another system, another planet, another intelligence. That's got to be the biggest event in history, period. And it's real. And it's real and it's there.